Hello students, welcome to Angel Health Academy. Topic for the day or topic for the session is concept of illness. Concept of illness. In many cases, the terms like disease, disorder, morbidity, sickness, illness, all are used interchangeably. Okay, so sometimes people may use disease, the term, sometimes disorder, morbidity, sickness, illness. Almost it has a similar meaning only. Okay. Because of that, it is used interchangeably. But however, in some particular situation, we use these specific terms. So the specific terms are very important and that is considered preferable. Okay. That means in a particular situation, condition, we have to use only a particular term. Okay. That is only preferable. So, disease, disorder, morbidity, sickness, illness, all will give almost the same meanings. Thus, it is used interchangeably. But in some specific occasion or situation, we can use only a particular specific term that is that only we could use because that is most preferable. Okay. So in this video, I would like to talk about uh, what is the difference between disease, sickness and illness and which circumstances or the situation it is used. Okay. Now let us see the disease process. Disease process begins or it starts with the onset of a disease. Okay. Then the next stage is illness and the third stage is sickness. So in the disease process, first stage is disease, second stage is illness and third stage is sickness. Okay. First a person will suffer from a particular disease. Then that may lead into illness. Okay. Illness make the person to become a sickness. Okay. Let us see what are the difference between disease, illness and sickness. First one is about disease. The term disease broadly refers okay, to any condition that impairs the normal functioning of the body. So, any condition, okay, any situation that impair, impair means that disturb, okay, that disturb the normal functioning of the body. So, usually human body has got a normal functioning. Okay, whenever that normal function gets disturbed okay, or impaired, then we call it is a disease. Such a condition is called as disease. That means diseases are associated with the dysfunction of the body's normal homeostatic process. So, body is always keeping a homeostatic nature or process. Okay. When there is a impairment, when there is a disturbance, when there is a dysfunction of normal homeostatic process of the body, then we call that is due to or because of disease. So, diseases are associated with the dysfunction of the body's normal homeostatic process. Thus, disease refers to a biological or physiological dysfunction of the body. Okay. So, the ultimate meaning of the disease, you can remember that or you can by heart that disease is a or it refers to a biological or physiological disturbance or dysfunction of the body. So, when the physiological function or biological function of the body get impaired, get disturbed, okay, or if there is any dysfunction or malfunction, then only we call that disease. So, the disease refers to a biological or physiological dysfunction of the body. Second is regarding illness, okay. The term illness and sickness are both generally used as synonyms for disease. Sometimes, Instead of disease, we use uh, the term illness or the term sickness as a synonym, okay, similar meaning. However, the illness is occasionally used to refer specifically to the patient's personal experience, okay, a person or a patient personal experience about the disease, okay, personal experience of his or her disease. So, illness is caused due to disease. Okay, that means illness is a subjective state of feeling or subjective state of a person who feels aware of not being well. Okay, he is feeling that he is not feeling well. Okay, there is some problem. Okay, he cannot do the normal activities or activities of daily living because of the disease. Okay, that is evident with a certain set signs and symptoms of a disease. As you know that every disease may produce specific signs and symptoms. Because of that patient will suffer or even feel difficulty. That feeling, that subjective feeling of the person is called illness. So, illness is a subjective state of person who feels aware of not being well with evidence of certain signs and symptoms. Okay. Now, let us differentiate the illness and diseases. 
So, illness versus disease. So, in medical terms, disease is the biological or physiological abnormality or dysfunctions. For example, of disease is cancer, infection, any other lifestyle diseases, etc. Okay. While illness is the experience of living with that disease. Okay. Experience of living with the condition. Okay. Subjective feeling of the signs and symptoms of the disease such as pain, distress, inability to perform certain actions or functions or daily activities. Okay. So, illness is the experience of living with the, the condition means living with the disease that include, condition include pain, distress, irritability or inability to perform certain functions. Then, a person can feel ill without having a disease. Though there is no disease, also sometimes a person feel ill. Okay. At the same time, patient can have a disease but he may not feel the illness. Okay. Example is subclinical case or early stages of cancer. So, when a person is subclinical case, subclinical case means a person harbors microorganism or pathogenic organism in the body but he does not show any or suffer any signs and symptoms of that particular disease. But he might be a carrier, he carry the disease then he transfer the disease organism to another person without showing a signs and symptoms. So, such cases are called subclinical cases. In that case there won't be any subjective feeling okay because Actually, there is a disease, but uh, that, that does not disturb the individual or person, okay. Then another example is during the early stages of the cancer. Cancer has got four stages, okay. So, usually it is detected in the last stage, the fourth stage. First stage and second stage, there won't be any signs and symptoms, okay. So, the patient may not feel any difficulty. So, that is early stages of cancer. That means, diseases is the objective state and it is measurable. So, disease is the physiological dysfunction that is objective state that can evaluate, diagnose or it can be measurable. Whereas, illness is the subjective state or experience of not feeling well that is due to disease. So, disease is the objective state and illness is the subjective state. So, this is the difference between disease and illness. Then the third concept is regarding sickness. Sickness is a state of social dysfunction. Because of the disease, person may feel illness, okay, ill and he discontinue the group activities or social activities that is called the social dysfunctions. Due to disease, okay, a person get away from a group or social activities, okay or remain away from group or social activities or participation in group or social activities is called the sickness. Sickness is a state of social dysfunctions. For example, a student is absent in the class. So, we mark in the attendance register as a sick leave because because of the disease he is unable to attend the class with his classmates, group of students. Okay, that is a social activity or group activity. That means sickness is a state of social dysfunctions in which the person likes to remain away from the group or social activities because of the disease, okay, because of the illness. So, now we can see the what you mean by disease process, what is disease, what is illness and what is sickness. So, this is the definition you can buy heart and you can apply wherever it is needed. So, disease means a biological or physiological dysfunction of the body. Illness is a subjective state of person who feels aware of not being well. This is a, illness is a subjective feeling. And last, sickness is a, a state of social dysfunction that is because of the disease and because of the illness. So, that is about the topic. So far, we have discussed about the concept of illness. That is disease, illness and sickness. Hope this video really benefits in your studies and exam. If you feel it is really worth and beneficial, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy for the next academic video. Thank you.